Dear Heavenly Father, our hearts are filled with great happiness on Chris and Emily's wedding day. Emily, in my entire life that I've known you, all the times I have texted you, all the times that we have talked, and all the times that I've seen you, be it Christmas, Thanksgiving, anything, the look in your eyes when you freaking look at Chris, in the way that Chris looks at you, in the way that he shook my hand and how proud he was to be by your side is something that you could, you could, you could only, only dream of. You guys are the perfect example of the, of the advice to marry your best friend. And I can't wait to see the lives you two create together. And to quote one of our favorite movies, clear eyes, full hearts. I remember getting a call from Emily one day sometime in the middle of 2021 telling me, I met this guy named Chris Bibb this weekend. I'm obsessed with him. I'm going to make him date me. <laughs> Chris, will you take Emily to be your wife? Will you commit yourself to her happiness and her self-fulfillment as a person and to her usefulness in God's kingdom? And will you promise to love, honor, trust, and serve her in sickness and in health, in adversity and in prosperity, and to be true and loyal to her so long as you both shall live? I will. And Emily? Will you take Chris to be your husband? Will you commit yourself to his happiness and his self-fulfillment as a person and to his usefulness in God's kingdom? And will you promise to love, honor, trust, and serve him in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to him so long as you both shall live? I will. Chris, please place the ring on Emily's hand. Emily, with this ring, I pledge my life and love to you. Emily, with this ring, I pledge my life and love to you. <laughs> Emily, please place your ring on Chris's hand and repeat after me. Chris, with this ring, I pledge my life and love to you. Chris, with this ring, I pledge my life and love to you. <laughs> <laughs> Chris and Emily, you are no longer two independent persons, but one. <laughs> what God has joined together, let no man separate. Matthew 9, 19, 6. By the power vested in me by the state of Texas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Chris, you may kiss your bride.